accordion is much smaller than a piano accordion, and it's structurally different. Each of its buttons produces two notes, one when you push the bellows in, the other when you pull the bellows out. The diatonic accordion, also called the squeeze box, is a staple of Cajun music. <laughs> This accordion maker crafts the right-hand keyboard from maple, a hardwood. He saws ten slots. Then he drills ten holes. The keyboard has no keys. In fact, it has ten buttons. They produce the treble notes. Now he turns the keyboard over and hollows out the wood with a router. This creates space for components to move. Each slot in the keyboard will house a rocker, a piece that links each button to its corresponding air valve. Now he builds the wind chest, the box that houses the steel reeds that produce the accordion sound. Moving the bellows in and out forces air through the holes in the wind chest. The buttons you push determine over which reeds the air flows, producing notes. The longer and thicker the reed, the slower it vibrates and the lower the pitch of the note. The shorter and thinner the reed, the faster the vibration and the higher the note. There are eight reeds per button. Pushing the bellows in activates four, pulling the bellows out, the other four. Using a hot iron, the accordion maker seals the reed frames with beeswax. This prevents air from escaping. Now back to the keyboard. The accordion maker installs ten valves made of maple wood. Each one has a plastic rocker on the end. A spring ensures the rocker has just the right tension to open and close the valve properly when the musician presses the button. After staining and varnishing the wood, he glues a button into each hole onto the rocker inside. Pressing a button triggers the rocker underneath to lift the valve and uncover the air hole, letting the air hit the designated reeds. The accordion maker now screws the fully assembled keyboard to the wind chest. Now he constructs the left-hand keyboard. He sets the reeds into the left wind chest, using a hot iron and beeswax, just like before. The valves in this keyboard are made of pine, a more flexible wood, making them easier to install in this enclosed space. On the outside, a decorative wood inlay, a strip of ebony and some rosewood detailing. The left-hand keyboard has two buttons, corresponding to three reeds each. It produces two bass notes and two chords. After staining and varnishing the keyboard, he hooks a spring between each valve and the button that operates it. He adjusts the spring tension and checks the air seal. Then he stamps the company name inside. Now he screws the finished keyboard to the finished wind chest. Meanwhile, Another worker prepares the bellows, which forces air through the reeds. The factory buys pre-folded cardboard, then cuts and assembles it. These diamond-shaped pieces of leather seal the openings, preventing air from escaping. Now she glues fabric strips inside the folds of the cardboard. This is purely for decoration. These stainless steel covers reinforce the cardboard corners so that they won't perforate from repeated movement. Now she glues fabric strips onto the edges of the folds. This both decorates and strengthens the cardboard. Now for the final assembly. The accordion maker nails the bellows to the left-hand keyboard. The reason nails are used rather than screws is simply tradition. The left-hand keyboard has a hand strap, the right-hand keyboard a thumb strap. After nailing the right-hand keyboard to the rest, this handsome diatonic accordion is ready for a musical test drive.